Campus Grayson Epley. Another afternoon of reaching record-breaking heat, 109 for that afternoon high as compared to that previously set record of 107. We're going to continue to see that heat over these next several days. And with this heat, that's allowing a lot of storms to become slightly severe. Actually looking at that current radar, seeing some showers starting to pop up out towards Crockett County. As and if we go closer to these evening hours, it's going to continue to move off towards the east, really continuing in towards Crockett County as well as Reynolds County. So some of those places might continue to see some of those showers. It's really very similar to what we saw last night. This is showers really started to pop up closer to those sunset hours. So looking at those rain totals from last night, a lot of that blue as well as that purple and these rain totals are going to start to taper off as those showers were almost exactly 24 hours ago. But hopefully some of those showers we're currently seeing are going to hopefully add on to those rain totals across across the Concho Valley. Those temperatures, and we have not seen a break from the heat. 107 right now, dew point is at 60. Humidity sitting at 22%, and those winds right now out of the south at eight miles per hour, seeing them fairly calm. And even those temperatures across the entire Concho Valley, all of us still holding on to those triple digits. 101 in Coleman, 105 in Ballinger, reaching here towards San Angelo again, 108. 108 in Robert Lee as well. And seeing 109 out in Sterling City, and we'll see a slight increase for those temperatures looking ahead to tomorrow. That forecast for tonight with those isolated storms, especially for those western portions of the Concho Valley. 78 for that overnight low. Those partly cloudy skies and winds out of the south. Those will start to increase at about 15 to 20 miles per hour with those gusts possibly gusting up to 30 to 40 miles per hour closer to tomorrow morning hours. 112 for tomorrow afternoon high. Breezy conditions again picking up winds out of the southwest at 15 to 20 miles per hour with those gusts close to 30 miles per hour but could be seeing them gusting up to 40 miles per hour as well with those mostly sunny skies expected for that afternoon actually looking at that daily planner as we look start to wake up on that Sunday very sunny skies south southwesterly winds seeing them at 20 miles per hour gusting up to 30 miles per hour temperatures in those 80s but going further into the afternoon reaching that noon hour skies remaining sunny but those winds out of the southwest at 15 to 20 miles per hour they start to taper off seeing those winds only gusting up to 25 miles per hour triple digits already 100 as we reach noon and going further into the afternoon close to peak heating 4 p.m. 110 southwesterly winds only at 10 to 15 miles per hour and those skies remaining fairly clear. But again, that main story is going to be those winds that really are going to start to increase as we go into our overnight hours tonight. Looking at that future cast for those winds, we're going to be seeing them really pick up for tomorrow morning. Could be seeing those gusts into those 40s by 6 a.m. And going into the afternoon, they'll start to calm down, but we're still going to be seeing those winds remaining fairly present, and even that's going to remain in place over these next several days, as well as that heat. That heat's not going anywhere. We have an excessive heat warning that's been in place for our afternoon today and that's going to continue for tomorrow that's going to wear off tomorrow at Sunday Sunday 9 p.m. that's again in place for the entire Concho Valley as we're all going to be seeing that very hot conditions for our afternoon tomorrow actually looking at that future cast for those temperatures what we kind of can be expecting for our tomorrow back in those triple digits for the entire area 112 in San Angelo as well as those most of those north western portions of the Concho Valley but going through those overnight hours that's when we can see those sorts of breaks in those temperatures getting a little bit cool 110 back for us on Monday and that's going to remain in place seeing those triple digits over these next seven days again looking at that seven day forecast 112 for tomorrow 111 seems to be pretty prominent over the next couple of days breezy conditions will pick up but looking ahead to the start of July could be seeing a cool down in those temperatures